Remember, we were talking about uh, motion with constant acceleration. And uh, we listed the three equations of motion for object moving in a space with constant acceleration. Okay? And I explained the meaning of the first equation. We said the equations are equal. Both sides are equal in everything, yeah? I explained the first one, second one, a uh, third one. Now I go to the go back to the second one, okay? Now if I look at the second one, what do we have here? Initial velocity vector. Yes? What did you what did we do here? We squared the vector. Now what does this mean? V naught vector square. It means this vector is multiplied by itself. Now, now we have to think. We have two types of multiplication. Cross and dot. So is this multiplication a cross or dot? Let's say you don't know. So we try both, yes? Suppose that you put a cross here. So you say V naught cross V naught. Now, if you have a cross, what's the magnitude of the cross usually? First one, magnitude of the second one, sine the angle between those two vectors, yeah? What's the angle between them? Zero. Sine zero. So if this is zero, what, what's the answer? Now, is it possible you have a, something you multiply by itself is equal to zero? No. Except in one case, if it's zero itself, yeah? Zero. So it means here you don't have a cross product. What do you have? Dot. Now let's try the dot. V naught dot V naught. How do you find the value? V naught, first one magnitude, second one magnitude, cosine zero. Cosine zero? One. And of course, V naught by V naught, magnitude by magnitude is magnitude square. Multiply by. So now, back to our equation. V naught vector square, is it a vector or a scalar? Because it's a dot product. So this is a scalar. Right, let's look here. Acceleration is a vector. Displacement, here I have multiplication as well. Which means I have to know if it's a dot or a cross. Yeah? Now, let's leave this one. Let's go to this side. Now, do you know what's this side? Vector or scalar? Scalar, because we landed from this one. Yeah? So this side of the equation is scalar, which means if I have equation, this side must be? Okay. This is a scalar. So what is this now then? Dot product. If you put a cross, it's not a scalar. You'll have a vector plus a scalar, wrong. Both sides are not vectors. So this must be a dot product. Okay. Now, this equation, usually we avoid using it in solving. Because if you want to do dot here, what do you need? The angle between vector A and vector displacement. And usually it's not easy to find it. Yeah. So, But most of the time you can work on this. Of course, if the angle is mentioned, yeah. So now I prove to you that equation means the two sides are equal, not just in value. They are equal in their properties as well. Vector must equal vector. Scalar must equal scalar. Now, how do we use the equations of motion to solve the problems of an object moving in space? What we do, if you have any question, in, on an object moving in space, how you approach the problem. Always create a table with four columns. Column one, column two, column three, column four. The first column for motion on x-axis only. Motion axis only. Second column, motion, y-axis. Third, motion, uh, 
The fourth column, it's when you put the X, Y, and Z together, which means motion in and R. Right? Then, think of what you have here. And the equations of motion, how many uh, terms do we have? We have initial velocity, final velocity two, acceleration three, four, displacement, five. General, just the word. Which means in, you need five rows. First row, it's for initial velocity. Second row, final velocity. Third row, let's say it's for acceleration. Fourth row for displacement. And the sixth row is for time. The last one. You can put them in this order, it's better if you like. Initial, final. Now, when you are in R and you're talking about initial velocity, it means which one? V naught vector. So here you must have V naught vector. And because it's a vector, it means it has components. So what is V naught vector? It has a V naught I plus initial in Y. I should put another plus initial in Z. Let me correct this one. It means the initial velocity has three components. It has initial velocity in X component only. Initial in Y, initial in Z. Final velocity, same story, yeah? Final, sto final velocity means V? F. VF, but ignore the F. When you say V, you mean V final. So V final. If it's a note, it's initial. If there is no note, it means final, the second one. Again, how many components it has? It has VXI plus VYJ plus VZK. Acceleration, same story. Yeah? A vector has acceleration on X, acceleration on Y, Acceleration is Z. What else? Displacement, yeah? Delta R. Now, displacement in space has three displacement. Displacement in X, displacement in Y, displacement in Z. And time is time. There is no T. And the time is between two points, start and finish, the period. Now, if you have the total initial velocity, it means you know the components, yeah? So when I'm on X only, what was the initial on X only? V not X, so it's here, V not X equal. I don't know how much is it from the question. Here, V not Y. Here, V not Z, the components. Same for final velocity. I have three finals. Finals in X, Y, and Z. So we have VX, VY, VZ. Acceleration again, three acceleration. Acceleration in X, acceleration in Y, and Z. Displacement, only in X, only in Y, only in Z. And time, there is no time X, Y, Z. Time is time. So it's the same. T and all, yeah? Okay? Now, once you have this table in front of you, you can solve any problem of motion. All what you have to do, you read the problem and you fill as much as you can of these. Maybe, you know, initial here, 
you know this one or you know this column, some. Now, if you work on this column, column R, what are the equations here? These. Because those are for R, three dimensions, everything. So underneath this table, your equations are V, V naught plus AT, and V, V naught uh, square, sorry, this is square, plus 2A delta R dot, and delta R, V naught T plus half A vector T square. Look here, this is the column of vectors, everything. Now, if you work on this column, this is column X, which means motion on X only. Now, when you work on motion on X only, it means you have to change these equations for X only. For X. So, what are the equations for X? Look here. This becomes V naught. No vectors. Did you remove the vectors? Because you talk about a component. And the acceleration? And this will be? X. And you do the same here and same there. I list them here, underneath here. So under x, your equations are final in x, initial in x, plus acceleration in x, multiplied by time. Second, final in x square, initial in x square, acceleration in x, delta x, displacement in x only. And last, delta x, initial velocity in x time, plus half acceleration t square. You got the idea here? You work in column X, you must use the equations for X only. You work on column R, use the equations of R. If you work on column Y, same as this, but change the X to? So I'll do, put it here. It becomes V final in Y, V initial in Y plus acceleration in Y multiplied by time. Second. Final in y square, initial in y square, plus 2, acceleration in y, displacement in y. Yeah, displacement in y, initial in y, time, plus half, acceleration y, t square. There's no need to repeat for z, yeah? Same. And most of the time, the questions are two dimensions, so you don't need the z. It's getting very hot, why? I think because we don't have water, yeah. so the system is not working. Okay. Right. Now, what we'll do, we'll do practice on this one. The sheets I gave you, okay, uh, there are two examples, two questions. And we'll use these as a model to use this table to solve problems. Yeah? So if, I, if you look at question number one, question number one, what does it say? A particle starts from the origin at t equals zero. At t equal zero. With a velocity of 10j with a velocity of 10j, meter per second, and moves in the xy plane with a constant acceleration of 4i plus 2j, meter per second squared. This is the acceleration. Now, at the instant, the x-coordinate of the particle is 29. What is the value of its y-coordinate? Okay. So this is the question. I want to find the y-coordinate. Now, first, when you look at this question, it's obvious it's a motion in space. But how many dimensions we have? X and Y. So here on the table, I don't need the Z. So this is out. I just need X and Y. The first sentence, when it says the particle starts from origin, what does that mean? It means the first low position is? Zero. When I say first, first position, what do I mean? X1. X1, Y1, and R1. 
So it means x1 equals 0, y1 equals 0. Of course, if x and y are 0, the r vector is 0 as well. So the first position in the space is 0. At t equal 0. Now, when you say at t equal to 0, it doesn't mean this t here in the table. No, here t equal to 0 means you're starting by putting your clock or watch at zero time, not at one o'clock or two o'clock or three o'clock. Start zero, real zero. With a velocity. Now, the word here, velocity, remember I have two velocities in the table, initial and? Which velocity is this? Initial, because still we're talking about time zero. So now I have the velocity initial. How much is the velocity initial? 10 J, good, now pay attention here. This is which, which row? One. First row. Now first row has one, two, th three. Now where shall I put this velocity initial? Here? Here? Okay, now you missed the point here. Did it say initial velocity x or initial velocity y or said Velocity, but initial. What is mentioned in the question? Total. Total. All, yeah? So it means where you have to put it? R. Okay, it doesn't have x, that's fine, but this is the initial velocity vector. So what you have to do, you go to the final velocity. Of course, there's no k. How much is the v naught? x, zero, you put zero. How much is the v naught y? Ten. Ten. And move with an x, y plane with a constant acceleration. Now here I don't have two acceleration, I have one acceleration because constant. Where shall I put the acceleration? In the R. So what's the acceleration? Acceleration, 4i, that's 2, which means now can I fill the others? How much is ax and ay? And of course this is out, yeah? Let me remove this one because we don't need it now. What else? At the instant, the x coordinate is what? 29 meters. So what is this? X, Y, or R column? Which column? X column. Now, 29, what is 29? Okay, now be careful. This is not delta x. This is x coordinate. Final or initial? Delta x means x final minus? And this question, what's the initial? So then delta x and x final are the same. How much is it? Okay. So it's delta x and x final, same. Because x initial is zero, it started from origin. What's the question? What is the value of its y? So where shall I put the question mark? This is unknown, delta y. Right, now the strategy. It's easy, just follow the strategy. If you work on any column, you have to have at least a three known in that column to use that column, yes? So a column with two, you can't, yes? Now, what do you want to calculate? Delta y, yes? And the column of y, how many knowns do I have? One, and this one? No, 10. Yes, I didn't copy it. And this one is already zero, yeah? This zero i, 10 j. Vy, unknown, not given, don't put it zero. Vx, unknown. So can I work on this column? No, because I just have two known, acceleration and? 
initial velocity in y. You can't use these equations. You need a three known to find something. So what you have to do? Change your technique. You have to go to a column which has three. three. Like what? The x column. Now, on the x column, what do I have? Initial velocity, zero. Final velocity, x unknown. Acceleration for displacement. I can't use this column. In this column, how many unknown? Two. Two. Now, if you find Vx here, will it help you to find delta y? No. You must find what? Because t is shared in all columns. You can transfer it from one column to another. So find the time using the equations for x. Now tell me, if I, this, is, this equation has time, this one has time. If I use this one for time, do I know V0 x? No, yes. Zero. Yes. Ax, yes. four. Do I know V x? No. I can't find the time. I have to go to the third one. So the third one, do I know delta x? 29. Do I know V naught x? Zero plus half. Acceleration in x, four times square, yeah? Solve it, you find the time. And it is 3.8 second, I think. Am I right? 3.8. Okay, once you find the time, you can copy it in the next column. So here I have 3.8. Here I have 3.8 second. Okay, now, now go back to Y column. Now you have three pieces of information. You can find delta Y. Now these are your equations. Which one is easy to find delta Y? Second or third? third. Okay, now let's say you chose the second. What's the problem? You don't know? V Y. So you must use that? So here you say delta Y. V naught y t plus half a y t squared. Delta y unknown. V naught y, 10. Time, we found it, 3.8 plus half. Acceleration in y and t. Then you find delta y. And you answer the question. Yeah? So delta y is 52. Okay. Now, we answer the question? Yes. Now, all the other question marks, you can answer them the same way. What else you can calculate now? I can find Vx and V. Okay. Then, once I know these, I can say what is? What's the question? What's the velocity vector at when x is? Or when the time is? Yeah. What else? Is this known? You, you have delta x, you have delta y. Substitute. What's the question? What's the displacement vector at 29? Now, if you take the absolute value here, what's the question? How far? Or magnitude of displacement. How far is the object from origin straight? Now this object, if you just want to do a sketch, roughly, roughly, let's say this is t, uh, sorry, this is uh, xy. This is not a function, this is real space, xy space. Let's say the object moves like that. Originally it was here, r1, zero. Later at 29, when x is 29, maybe it was here, yeah? So what, ha what it has? Y final. This is X final. And this is X initial. Y initial, yeah? So when you say delta R, where is delta R? From start to end. This is the vector. Now what's the magnitude of this vector? The absolute value, yes? And this is what we call how far from origin. How far from origin. 
So this is the strategy. Eh? The second question, I'll just give you the idea and I'll stop for the quiz. The second one, just there is a keyword here, quickly. It says, at a time t0, a particle leaves the origin with a velocity of five meter per second in the positive y direction. Its acceleration is given by a equal to three i minus two j. At the instant, the particle reaches its maximum y. This is the key word in this question. When the particle reaches its maximum y coordinate, how far is the particle from origin? Remember how far means find what? Delta R. Uh, delta R from origin. But if we say how far horizontally, just delta X. How far vertically, delta Y. How far on its own means original. Good, now, same table, okay? If I want to fill it quickly, what do I know? Initially, what do I know? What's the velocity? Five meter per second. Which way? Positive. Look here. Five is the magnitude. The direction, positive yj. So what shall I write here? Zero i. So here becomes what? Five. Zero. The acceleration, 3i, so you have a 3x minus 2j, so this is a 3 minus 2j, yeah? Okay, now this is the same. Where is the new thing? At the instant the particle reaches maximum, why, this is easier, yeah? this is very important. If you have something moving in space, and when it reaches maximum y, what does that mean? Velocity is zero. Which velocity is zero? Vy only. Because if it has Vy, it will go further, yes? But if Vy finishes, but not V0, because if you say V0, it means it goes there and stops, freezes. No, it reaches maximum. Why? So what you have to do here, whenever we say maximum Y, it means Vy, zero. Now, if you reach maximum X, it means you don't have any more Vx. Vx is? So here you have to translate this to numbers. So what you put Vy is? But don't put Vx zero, unknown. Now is it clear, yeah? Of course there is no time found here. Okay, how do you solve? Which, which, which column has a three? One, two, three, yes? Of course there's no 29 here. So start here. Don't forget, what's your objective? What do you want to find? No, how far? You want delta R. Now to find this, you must know delta X and? So you have to work on Y to find? Delta Y, use the equation for Y, find delta Y. And then, but delta X doesn't have enough information. Find the time here, transfer it here, and do the same. Now delta X and delta Y are ready. You can find? You found delta R vector. Then magnitude is the absolute value. We'll continue next class. Thank you.